earlier today, the news came through that the multiple grade one winning jockey, Jamie Moore, has announced his retirement the last couple of years. Frustrating, uh, we know, with injuries and the latest in November. Sustained in a fall in late November was uh, what the straw that broke the camel's back, as it seems, as Jamie is, is hung up his boots. And Jamie, I'm pleased to say, joins us now. Jamie, great to see you. A bittersweet day, I can imagine, but we wanted to extend our well wishes to you and congratulate you firstly on a, a phenomenal career. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's been a long day now. <laughs> Jamie, we, we know 968 British winners. I'm sure you would have wanted to end it on, on a thousand and more, but we know that the, the frustrations with the injuries and that's what it's succumbed to. And, we, and we've read exactly what you've gone through over the last few years and it's just nature has, has put you in this, this situation. Can you remind us of what happened back in November? Yeah, um, yeah. Back in November, like I say, it was probably the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, it was another knockout where I'd, I'd been down for over four minutes in the space of eight months, um, and yeah, along with, I mean, breaking a neck was bad, but it's, that, that that was okay, and because um, that 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 could be a whole lot worse, as we all know. And um, yeah, there's there's the the head injury that's done it. Um, it's probably been a, a succession of them. It's just this last year. It's just been unlucky that every time I seemed to fall, the horse behind just booted me in the head um, or in, in the face. They weren't actually on my head. There's no marks on my hat or anything. It was just um, straight blows to the face. So. And, Jamie, I know it's all been about injuries, and, and we can go through them, but let's not forget the career that you've had and how proud you should be. I've got George Baker alongside me, who knows you going back years and years, all those, all those years going back for when you, when you were condi champion conditional, but your grade one victories, everything that you've gone through. And I know, George, your, your memories of, of Jamie, not just as a, a talented jockey and the success he's had, but the, the character that he's brought into the weighing room. Yeah, he's so well respected, Jamie. Um, Jamie, I was just looking through your stats and I see that you managed to win off World Chief and a handicap um, for Martin Pipe off a very low rate and that must have been a good experience as a £5 claimer. Yeah, hello, George, anyway. Um, yeah, it was... Mr Pipe put a lot of faith in me um, when I was very young. Um, yeah, World Chief, he won, won the elite hurdle down at Wing Canton. Um, I think he broke a track record that day. I don't know if he's still got it or what, but um, yeah, he, he was a very good horse, uh, along with plenty of other good ones that I got on at a young age. I was, I was very fortunate to, to get them chances. And obviously, Jamie, it's just been the, the 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 career that you've had, especially with the family. And we we you know talking as race fans, I think there's not one person that didn't enjoy Sardar Gruji and his campaigning more than you know. It was just fabulous to watch. The the weighing room got really behind you, but that ride in the Champion Chase is not something that you'll ever get bored of watching. And I'd say, am I would be far off to say that was your highlight of your career? Yeah, um, it, it, it was probably my second favourite win. Um, I think my favourite was the first Tingle Creek on Sire. Um, when I was growing up, the Tingle Creek was my favourite race. Um, I, I just used to love watching it. And, uh, yeah, so to win that the, the first time on him was, was amazing. And, then, yeah, it was, it was, that was pretty special as well. But um, there, there's even days down at Plumpton on Fontwell, Lingfield, just your day-to-day -day stuff, like I've... Yeah. I've loved all them, all, all them winners and stuff. I mean, there's, there's plenty of hard days, but it's, um, but the good days are are brilliant, you know. And, and unless you're a jockey and you feel it, it's 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 going to be hard to replace. Yeah, and we know. Look, we can see here. We've got it on screen. This this day, this moment. As you say, you're a graft. You've always have been hard work. You turn up at the at the small days, but being this, doing this for your family, and just being part of an experience that I can imagine. If you could plan out a season for a horse, this is how you want it to be, and this is how you want to live it. It's it's extraordinary when you when you look back on on how much success that horse achieved and and what it did, I suppose, for your career at such a, an important time. Yeah, uh, the horse had he had quite a hard season, and yeah, still the boys there. That's that's brilliant, you know. Um, yeah, that, that 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 meant so much to me. That 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 did. Um, but the horse was he, like I've said before. It's, it's incredible to describe how much he meant to me, not just as a racehorse, but his afterlife, what he did. Um, my wife, Lucy, and my three kids, like, he, he he's just such a genuine horse. And, um, 
he he meant the absolute world to me, you know. And uh, no, I, I miss him now. He's gone. I miss him very much. Jamie, just a quick one. So obviously, come down to your dad's odd occasion through the years to ride out, and you've got a massive bond. You used to ride him out on his own a bit, didn't you? Yeah, um, usually just because you're rushing around all the time. Um, so I just used to go and take him out and to, to just do, do whatever we, I thought he's like a stack the same routine as what we have on all the horses. But um, yeah, he 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 knew me very well, the horse, and uh, and I like he, he we, we we trained him hard, but he. It, 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 like I won 17 races on him. If you, if you won 17 races on a selling plate, uh, you'd, <laughs> you'd think the world of that horse. So to win on one as good as him, um, I doubt there's, there's probably not many jockeys that have won 17 on one horse. So that shows you how special, special he was for me. And Jamie, you said that that meant a lot to you, seeing all, all the lads from the weighing room coming in and cheering you in with that, with the moment, with that. But that just showed the the camaraderie that there always always has been, there always will be. But the the popularity you've had in the weighing room, I'm sure that those are lads that over the course you've seen how it's changed. You probably see lads got, come and go, but I I can imagine. And George, I know you know yourself what a family unit that is, and how much it's hard, if anything, not just to leave race riding, but leaving the weighing room. Yeah, oh yeah, ma massively. Um, not just the jockeys. Um, I mean, they, they, they see, you've seen loads come and go. I mean, the boys I used to look up to, they 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 were all long gone. Um, <laughs> but even the young lads coming through, you, it's it's an amazing place to be. Um, everyone does really look out for each other, and it's not just the jockeys. That the valets, I mean, they they pick you up off the floor. You, I got. A, they're, they're they're true friends as well. They, they they do everything for us. And then then there's a, the the tea boys and girls that makes the cups of tea, make a sandwich in that, and the doormen, like uh, the the nurses and physios. Like, you you talk to so many people in there, but they all just look out for you. Um, and they they share the good days with you. But when, when you're down, they 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 do really help you. Um, yeah. And I know there's there's so many amazing people in there, and they don't even know they're amazing people, but they are amazing. Yeah, it reminds you of what a family it is, um, the racing industry, especially when you have your good days, but you have your bad days as well. But we know as a jockey, you, you'd be famous for being busy, hardworking, a grafter, a love of the horse. And, you know, my, my question was going to be how are you going to replicate this in the next part of your of your career? Um, and, and imagine with the, the way that the, the Moore team is going, you'll be quite heavily involved at home. Yeah, um, we, we, we've got a big operation now. and. Um, Dad's obviously a brilliant trainer, and me and Josh, have, we, we, we help him out plenty. Um, but he's still the boss, and he, he still will be for a bit longer. So I'll, I'll, I'll be working in the yard, and um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what, what's going to be entirely happening yet. It's all been a bit of a surprise. Um, mm -hmm. so I, I just need to yeah, just, just get, get the ducks in a row, I suppose. Yeah, and you look, it's a yard to be so proud of. Even this weekend, you know, old friend Goshen, um, and looking ahead, the likes of Nassalam, you must look at the yard and be really proud and feel quite privileged to have such quality and, and quantity. But also, you know, you've got great targets this springtime that I'm sure you're all really excited about. Yeah, we've got some really nice horses. Um, the spring targets, are, we definitely got, we've got some nice horses to run there. Um, a lot of them are going to be ground dependent. Ho hopefully, it can keep raining for them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great to be a, a part of the, the the staff work hard. And we've got a brilliant bunch of owners as well who they, they've been very loyal for a very long time. Um, so yeah, hopefully the, the the luck can stay as it is at the minute. And you've also got jockeys in around. I know Niall Houlihan being one of the most prominent ones. He's doing a great job. He's got jo Goshen, obviously, this weekend. How do you think your old friend is going to get on? He's obviously a character and he's got a mind of his own. You know him well. How do you think he'll he'll appear, appear you know, at a wing cant in a track he knows well? Yeah, he's, he's won there a couple of times. Um, we've put the blinkers on him and we put blinkers on him a couple of years ago and didn't react to them as we'd like to, but... He had them on, was it yesterday morning? And I, I think they helped him. So um, he's got a bit to prove now, it seems. And he, he is dropping back a, back a mile in trip from his last start. But if Niall can get get him out the gates, get him cracking on, and like, he, he is a good horse when things go right. And he is actually very genuine. I know people don't think he is, but 
when he's in a dogfight, he, he does really try for you. So um, hopefully Niall can crack on and keep, keep, give a good account of himself anyway. Yeah, and that's what we've always enjoyed with, with you, Jamie. You've always, your love of the horses, the love of their, knowing their personalities has always been what I've really enjoyed myself hearing from you. So we'll miss you as a rider, but I'm sure we're going to see you plenty on the racetrack um, in around with the Moore family, with, with everyone else. So as I said, we extend our, our massive congratulations on a, on a wonderful career, and I'm sure we will see you on a racetrack very soon. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Cheers, George.